Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your forecast for Monday, August the 5th, 2013. And I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. Um, I feel very out of sorts right now, so I don't know if it's the change. Um, I did not do my binaural beats this morning. Um, I, there are too many factors that have been changed. I'm not using the um, external camera and mic just to see what happens. Um, so I'm trying some different things. I like the view. It looks nice. Um, then the uh, internal camera and microphone, we'll see how well that works. But uh, yeah, so today is the number five. Very energetic, lots of movement going on today. This is the number that just doesn't want to sit still um, in my feeling, in my readings, and all that I do with tarot and intuitive work. So today is just going to be moving, moving, shifting, changing all over the place. Now, it's also number 19. So we've got odd numbers all over. So very dynamic day. So number 19 is the sun card. Kind of about births, new beginning, fresh starts. You know, the sun is what um, ignites uh, without the sun, we couldn't live. You know, it ignites the energy within the plant to grow. It gives us vitamin D. So there's a lot of kind of beginnings and starts there. It's also boiled down to number one, which is the fool card, which is about brand new beginnings and starts, and and also living from a little place of kind of naivete and and uh, immaturity in in a positive way. Just very you know unsure of what's coming down you and moving quickly through life. So fun energy today. Um, I tell you, like I said, a lot of factors have, have shifted right just here with me. Did not do the binaural beats like I said. Um, I'm not using a external plug-in camera. I'm using the one that's in this actual laptop. But uh, it feels good. We'll see. I'm just having some fun, making some changes. So I'm going to dive right in, pull cards. The cards that I use are Ciro Marchetti, C-I-R-O-M-A-R-C-H-E-T-T-I. -T -T um, amazing artist, but he has three tarot decks and I think one oracle deck and then a Linamond, Linamond, Linamond deck. Linamond deck. Um, which is, uh, she was, uh, Little Martin was a very famous woman, did readings and stuff like that, but her cards were very unique. Um, from what I read about, it, it's very much more systematic. Um, I'm sure you could do what I do, just read intuitively from them, but it almost feels like it would be blasphemy from the things that I've read about the cards. Like you really need to stick with what's going on there. So I have not, I did not dive into that system yet. Um, I'm so focused on like bringing us more astrology into my work. Um, not that I want to be an astrologer. I'm going to leave that to David Palmer. He does that well. Just the astrology within the cards. So let me go ahead and pull the cards here. Um, I, I kind of like the screen. It seems like it's a wider view. So we'll probably leave that. Someone said um, my uh, Nike swoosh looked like um, my, uh, my Starship Enterprise crest. So I'm going to beam me up. Maybe that's what was starting to happen the other day. That's what it looked like, like I was being beamed up. So I'm shuffling, shuffling. Your card for today is Ace of Swords. So I like to put this on the screen so I can kind of look at you, even though I'm looking at the card. So our Ace of Swords for today, here we are with another one. So definitely a dynamic, moving, beginning day. So much, so much is going to start today. Start, 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 begin, begin, begin. Today is about beginnings, fresh starts. It'll be interesting to see what David Palmer says in his video about astrology and what's going on today. So lots of new new and fresh starts. I know we've got a, a new moon coming up. I think it's tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm not sure. Um, but it's definitely coming up real soon. So that, that'll play into this aspect. Now I'm also, let me go back. So this is Ace of Sword. Swords are um, the element air. They're often about the logics or the logical people. Um, this is often about um, people who are like architects, engineers, number people, accountants. Um, so that usually resonates with those. People who are up in their head a lot. And the air elements of the um, zodiac sign. I think it's Aries, um, Libra, and I forget the other one. I don't think it's Gemini. Still learning. Um, somebody corrected me the other day, or gave me the correct information, I should say, because it was very nice how they did it. Uh, and um, But yeah, so this is often about that. Now, what I was getting at, and the reason I backed up, was because this sword is also representing cutting things off. So there's definitely some cutting of cords 
which is about the fresh new beginnings. Um, there's a few people that I feel like are releasing, um, finally releasing, oh gosh, I'm going to have to say it like I hear it, finally releasing the dead. And what I mean is they're finally coming, this is from the other side, they're finally coming to grips and accepting that whoever has crossed over, they're no longer here in the physical form, but energetically they can absolutely still feel them. They're still around us. Um, sometimes when someone crosses over, their energy still feels so strong that they it's like they're around and that's where I feel like some of the denial comes in because you're still very connected to that energy. You still very much feel it. You know, little children, I hear time and time again, after their grandfather or somebody passed, literally they come home from the funeral and they're already talking to them. For them, they don't know any better. It's just like the energy is still there so they can. And that's what we adults ought to kind of look to strive for. But a lot of times we adults are so wrapped up in our own emotions and the loss and the, and the pain that we're feeling um, that... Um, we, we miss that. We miss that. And also, I just heard something else that just like we get some societal pressures on how we should act in a relationship, how we should act about, you know, a job situation, the loss of job. You know, women get pressured, you know, all the time when you're going to have a baby. You're supposed to have a children. You're supposed to have a family. You know, all these different societal pressures. And there's another one, and that's when someone crosses over, especially, you know, a, a loved one, a spouse, an adult um, parent, a parent or even an adult child, society tells us that we should wail and grieve and mourn and be sad. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but what I am saying is it's another one of those pressures that society puts on us. And there are a few cultures that when someone is born, they weep because they know they came into that body. And when they die, they rejoice because they know they are back to where they uh, came from as a spiritual being. So um, yesterday, I talked about l releasing old spiritual uh, old belief systems that no longer serve you. This could be one of them. you know. And I always used to say when I was in the church, the Nazarene church, I would always say, you know, when some, you know, we preach it all the time in, in, the, in that church that, you know, they're gone to a better place, but yet people don't want to let go and they want to grieve and mourn and wail and just thrash themselves around. And for me, I don't know if it's I'm unusual. I know Jamie's spoken about this a lot on a radio show, but, you know, when someone passes away, my best friend passed away, when any grandparent has passed away, I immediately was connecting with them and just and, and realizing, all right, this is how it went. When my animal, you know, Lovita, that I probably cried more over anything ever being gone, when she passed away, she was 13-year-old Palm. You know, it was it was so painful. Obviously, we were there with her. We we, we you know we we made the decision to to put her over, um, and it was really really wild and powerful. And and uh, but I tell you, it wasn't. It was less than twenty four hours that you know any tear that I shed was of joy over knowing that you know she's in a better place, and I had the time with her. The time with her. Um, with humans, I don't know why. <laughs> like I said, I always used to ask my therapist, am I just a callous son of a bitch? You know, um, but I think it was just, I understood how it, how it is and how it worked. We're spiritual beings. We come in for a moment and then we go out. So, all right, enough of talk about crossing over and death. <clears throat> Although it's kind of what I do a little bit with this business. Um, and speaking of Lovita, our Pomeranian, um, thank you, Sandra, for sending me um, some pictures of other animals in the area. And because of one of your pictures, it led me to another picture, which we were not necessarily looking for a Pomeranian, but there is a palm somewhere in town. I'm not telling you, I don't want anybody going to pick her up, but they got her yesterday. She's like nine pounds. Um, so I'm going to try to go by early, get off work early and go by and see if she's still there. Um, I just feel like we need a female in the house and a lot of the chihuahuas we've been seeing have been males. Um, so I think we need that female energy here in the house because it's three boy cats, a dog cat, and two guys. So um, it's not a good script. <laughs> There's no balance. Um, so uh, thinking about that, I'm excited about that. Tomorrow night, virtual lab class online, and you can see the information at my website. And uh, if you missed the one three weeks ago about developing the basics um, with tarot, developing your intuition with the basics of tarot, you can purchase that one, listen to it. Tomorrow night is just developing your intuition, the basics. We're going to talk about clairsentience, clairvoyance, 
Claire Augustians, all these different things, how to work. Finding a, the divination tool that you work best with will actually do some practical give and take things, um, some remote viewing, some you know picture reading, uh, things like that. So it should be a lot of fun. Then Wednesday night, um, the, the Intuitive Messenger Show on Blog Talk Radio. And I think that's it. Enough said. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.